Hey folks, Carl Kishel here, and welcome to this edition of the Microsoft Cloud News Update, researching the cloud blog so you don't have to. So this week, we have a handful of announcements to share with you, including a new service within Microsoft Azure called Gandalf. It's all about DevOps and managing your DevOps for safe deployment, some data lake storage updates, some Microsoft Teams roadmap updates, and a roll-up as to what's new in Microsoft Teams for the last month. So a couple things to go over, let's jump right into it. Links to the specific updates can be found in the description of this video. So our first update is regarding Microsoft Azure and specifically with the DevOps component and a service called Gandalf. And this blog post gets into the details of what Gandalf is and please read this for, for all the details, but think of Gandalf as a DevOps watchdog where this watchdog is looking at your deployment cycle of software applications and data through the DevOps lifecycle and looking for anomalies, issues with the data, any kind of corruption or specifically any kind of security issues, et cetera. So it's something that happens in the background, but it's pretty neat to, to learn about how this works, specifically using AI technologies and all the telemetry that Microsoft has collected and uses for this type of deployment. So check out the blog post for more info. Soft Delete for Azure Data Lake Storage is now in limited public preview. So this Soft Delete functionality has been rolling out across a lot of the Azure storage services. So Data Lake Storage is the latest to get this. Again, it's in public preview. And this quite simply is the ability to recapture data that was accidentally deleted. So if you were to delete data from a data lake storage account, actually goes into a recycling bin and you have an opportunity to recover that data. So if you're interested in the public preview, it's in limited um, mode. Um, definitely check out the links here on how to enroll in the public preview. Next up, we have a couple of roadmap updates regarding Microsoft Teams. And the first one here is regarding apps and conditional based access and this policy for apps within Microsoft Teams. Currently in development, slated to be released anytime now, June of 2021. And basically, if you're not familiar with um, app-based conditional access, it's all about the ability of creating conditional access policies on your apps. So for example, if you only wanted to employees to run applications based on their location, for example, maybe they're on the corporate network versus a home network, you can create these type of policies for apps within Teams. So keep your eye open for this feature coming soon. Another Microsoft Teams update coming soon, you should see this really any week now, is live transcription in Teams meetings and additional spoken languages. So up until this point, if you were to do live transcription, only supported English. So you have English speakers and your live transcription would be in English. So coming soon, anytime this month, you should start seeing this. You will have some additional spoken languages also supported. So for example, if you have meeting attendees or presenters speaking in English, the attendees or uh, folks participating in the meeting can change the description to Spanish and have that live transcription support in that particular language. So be on the lookout for this feature coming soon. And last but not least, wanted to share this roll up of all what's new in Microsoft Teams for June of 2021. So a lot of great information here. A lot of this we've covered in previous updates and uh, I'll just kind of do some highlights here. And then there's one really big one I wanted to point out. So as we go through the list here, there's a attendance dashboard that's now available for meeting organizers to collect and view some telemetry on the number of attendees, um, who've accepted, who attended, the length of the meeting, who was engaged in the meeting, uh, their role, et cetera. So you'll have that. Uh, that's now available in Microsoft Teams. Some additional connection points between your webinar participants if you're using the, the Teams webinar functionality and Dynamics 365 marketing. So it's great for that, that follow-up on Lifecycle if you are 
presenting in a webinar and wanted to follow up with attendees in you in if you're using Dynamics 365 as your CRM. Uh, lower all raised hands is another feature that's uh, currently available. Spotlighting multiple users is there. Chat bubbles, inking support, um, updated large gallery view in Teams Mobile. And, uh, and so on. So there are a lot, a lot of uh, great updates that have been um, posted here. The one big one I did want to call out that a lot of folks may not be aware of is this um, audio conferencing for free option. So this is a current offer. It's kind of buried here. So um, be on the lookout for this. But basically, if you ha are using Microsoft Teams in your corporate environment, and uh, you wanted to provide some audio conferencing. Uh, typically, you needed something greater than the A3 license or E3 license in order to make this available or add this a la carte. But from now until the end of this calendar year, you can provide a global dial-in number or dial-out to help others join your uh, meetings through audio conferencing. So for folks who may not have Teams loaded on their mobile device, or they just wanted to dial in, and that was the only way they can participate, you can provide them with a phone number for your meetings. And this is currently a free offer that is in effect until the end of the calendar year. And uh, again, the links will be provided. Click on the learn more link on how to get this activated in your system. That concludes this edition of the Microsoft Cloud News Update. Uh, if you enjoyed this session, please give me a thumbs up if you want to keep abreast as to all of our updates. We do these about once a week. Please hit the subscribe button. If you have any feedback, drop me a comment in the comment box. I read all comments. Or you can reach out to me either on Twitter or LinkedIn at Carl Kischel. Really appreciate your time this week. If you have any questions, shoot them my way. And with that, we will catch you next time. Take care.